So here we have the fan in good condition, if you want. Dust it down, nice and clean. Versatilis is mounted with a magnet, just on a 10 pence piece, just holding that in place. I've taken the gauge off just to, to show for the illustration. Okay, I've configured Versatilis using the, the app. The matter in the back, but it's Fluidic number two. And I'm going to leave this off for 10 15 minutes and then we'll start the fan up. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I'll put the fan on. I'll just go full pelt because it's in good condition. So hopefully you'll see a slight change in the graph, but it shouldn't be anything of concern. No visible vibration at all, anyway. Okay, that's been 50 minutes or so. I'm going to turn this off and we'll fit the imbalance. There we go, a little bit of blue tack. Squeeze that in tight to one of the blades just to make one of the blades a bit heavier than the others. Shaking now. Come back in 15 minutes. Okay, so that's been running about 15 minutes. The number one. Certainly here the imbalance. Let's just go right up to number three and see what happens. <laughs> Let's secure that. Certainly vibrating a lot more. I will try and secure this fan to the desk and we'll leave it like that. Okay, that's been another 15 minutes. In number three, fan secured down my trusty Vaisala catalogs. Let's uh, turn this off. I'll let this stable out just for another 10 minutes or so and then we'll have a wee look at the graphs and see what's happening. Right, okay, that's been off for a wee while now. Then we go off, turn that round so you can see Floodic number two, it's a versatilis transmitter, and that's off. This is another very messy meeting room, which I need to tidy up, and back to my even messier office. Floodic have got four of these versatilis transmitters for demo. The total, if you can see that, I've tagged on Floodic one, three, and four, the other one is number two, and I have plonked them on the metal filing cabinet because we have the Magnetic mount. Right. Now we're going to try and position this. There we go. Okay. That's your standard Galaxy tablet that I got. It was like 200 quid, nothing fancy. And downloaded the Honeywell Versatilis Connect app. And you can see I've scanned for the devices and I've got the four there. Now, quite a useful feature is you can see, hopefully, you can see the distances away so the other three are 50 to 60 centimetres away, about half a metre away Floodic 2, which is in the meeting room next door, 2.2 metres away so quickly identify which one that is <coughs> now this is just a Bluetooth app Versatile is designed for LoRaWAN communication which travels kilometres around a site but just for a quick demonstration, let's go into the configuration how you configure it and there's a little bit of data logging that I can show as well just take a wee minute to come up with this pull of the information from all four devices probably. No, it's not just one. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so it's came up. This is how I configured it before. I'll just show very briefly. Sensor parameters. One minute. I've got everything turned on. Just point out I gave it the tag for like two. You can change it if you want. Put in your network details, if you're running the LoRaWAN through a server, all that good stuff. And device location is quite useful. Um, you put in specific location where it is if it's over a, a wide site. LoRaWAN, like I say, travels kilometres, so you can have that latitude, longitude, some location images just to help you 
a little summary in there how it was all configured. But it's pre done, pre configured before I started, so let's go straight to monitoring. <clears throat> so I'm hoping the live view is going to give us ambient office conditions. That's 50% RH, 20 degrees kind of thing. There we go, 21 degrees ambient, 1000 hectopascals, 52% RH, and a background decibel noise with 0, 0.0 anything is, is zero pretty much so that the, the vibration nothing's really happening there I'm going to history trend I can get an hour 8 hours or 24 hours um, it's half past 12 I started this at half past 10 let's do 8 hours to make sure we get everything and I put on the on the video with it running I put some timestamps so we can compare what's happening so we go, it's actually went back to about half ten. That's not eight hours ago, but that's when I configured it, just before we started. So that's given us two hours of information. Um, ambient temperature has been steady, surface, ambient pressure, ambient humidity. It's all pretty stable. Even that's 48, 56, that's nothing, even if that changed the full graph. So, okay, but this is the, this is the stuff that's of interest to us in our test. So we started off half past ten. Nothing. The fan didn't go on actually until 5 to 11. So just before 11, I reckon that might just be about there where I put the fan on. And you can see the acoustics has jumped up for what's that, about 40 to 76 decibels. And maybe about the same sort of time. Very slight change. A bit more on the Z axis. But very slight change in acceleration from the fan being off and the fan being on without an imbalance on it. Now I put that imbalance on about quarter past 11, which is halfway between these points. That's where I put the imbalance on. Um, the acoustics has been off for a wee dip there. But yeah, that's where I've switched something off. What has happened here? I might have switched something off here. That, that looks like a spurious signal to go to zero. But certainly here, I've switched the fan off, fitted the imbalance and started it up. And you can see it's getting noisier, with the imbalance on it. And I can certainly see the acceleration, the, the vibration is picking up. This one's very clear on the z-axis because if I went up to half past 11, 29 minutes past this is timestamp, I went from number one setting to number three on the fan, which is shot this up on that, that graph anyway. It's quite clear, imbalance number three, then I've switched the fan off again here at the end of the video, which was about quarter to 12. Number three, imbalance. Number one, number one being the, the fan speed, sorry. Number three, number one, all imbalanced. And that was number three without any imbalance. And that's a fan off. That, to me, is clear as day what's going on. I'll just add in at the end of that video, that was a very crude test. Um, I'm not denying that at all. That's a 100 watt desk fan that sits to cool. Um, the Scottish summer, which isn't working too hard. So, just to give you a rough idea of what it does, um, the, the the values we looked at on the acceler acceleration on the vibration were half a G. Uh, the versatility goes up to 16 G. That's all it was. Very crude example.